what to do about our car. So here's the situation. Back in September, our car was stolen when we were visiting friends in Montreal. I made a whole video about this. It was a nightmare. And that was, I mean, of all my life, my favorite car. And I've owned close to 10 cars at this point in my life. And I, we adored that car. So it was a brand new Toyota RAV4 2022. It was gorgeous in um, sort of a bright gray with blackout ribs. <laughs> <laughs> and the highest trim level, it was amazing. It was a hybrid and it got amazing gas mileage. Great car all around. It was financed. So we have yet to hear from the insurance company and any updates on that. So we're in the market for a car. What we have been doing since September is renting a car. So we did not have rental coverage on our insurance. They will reimburse us up only up to $900 and it costs about $900 a month to rent a car for us, so it's getting untenable. We're going on month three of not, of having to rent a car, so we need something. And the reason why we need something is because I drive to New Jersey two to three times a week um, to work from my mom's house and my mom takes care of um, my child. So that is what we're doing for childcare and I need that in order to do my job. So that's where we are, we are in need of a car. We're trying to decide what to do next. So that's the situation. The RAV4 was financed and that was my husband's car and my husband's deal. He took care of that. Um, he, so I've owned close to 10 cars in my life and he's only owned two. He lived out in California and that's the only reason he, he needed a car, but he kind of didn't, he's only owned two cars and he bought them both from, from a dealership. I have only bought one car from a dealership. I bought nine cars from private party sellers. So I have only um, almost exclusively bought um, cars from private parties. So we have two choices. We can either go back to a dealership and finance another car, or we can try to go all cash and buy a car to get us through until we're completely debt free and make it through there, um, or as long as we can, right? That's, that's the goal. So, and here's sort of the math. It costs us around $1,000 to rent a car a month. A payment would be about $1,000 um, on a car. So that's the way we're doing. I am, I have always been in the mind ever since. So I bought my first car in 2004. It was a Honda Civic. I financed it out of college. The payments were $237 a month. And I remember being terrified thinking that I had to come up with that amount of money at the age of 19 <laughs> every single um, every single month. I was terrified about that. So that was, and then as fast forward to 2008, I started listening to Dave Ramsey and he's all pay cash for a car, um, which, at the time, I thought it sounded fantastic. Not having a payment, I love it. He said, I'd rather buy, buy a bike than finance a car. Yeah, and again, for context, again, Dave, Dave Ramsey has great basics. Dave Ramsey grew up with money, so Dave Ramsey has never been poor. So <laughs> I don't think he really knows what it's like out here in these streets. So regardless, his advice is sound. His specifics are, his, the mechanics of his advice is a little bit shady. So regardless, there are two options, go back to a dealership or buying cash. I am inclined not to have payments for as long as possible. That is what I am in the process of doing and hoping we can do is buy a car in cash and just drive it for as long as we can. So if we pay $8,000 for a car and we drive it for a year, we've made, we've made out because we haven't spent $1,000. Um, we spent less than $1,000 a month. Even with repair costs factored in, it would still be, um, we'd still come out ahead. So there's that. Again, the goal being just to drive this car as a stopgap until we can get out of debt completely is the goal. So there's that. Then there's also kind of that balance between now that I have <laughs> a child and I'm commuting back and forth to um, my mom's house as child care, reliability becomes an issue. And the thing with owning a used car is, yes, you can get a certain amount of mileage, but the repairs are unpredictable. And when you'll need a repair is unpredictable. And that's kind of what I'm, I'm looking at now and I'm starting to think about because I, you can budget for the repair, but knowing when it's, when it's gonna happen and then how are you going to manage in the meantime becomes a little bit trickier. 
So that's kind of what I'm thinking through right now. At first I was all gung-ho gung -ho toward buying a car in cash and, and doing um, living that way, which I still am inclined to do until we get to a little bit better place financially. Um, that is still my inclination. The used car market has improved a bit since last year when we were looking because we had that same situation last year when we were looking for a car right after my daughter was born. I had my 2004 Toyota Camry that I'd had for three years that I bought for $3,200 that had body damage on the side. Blue Book value was $5,000 and they took off almost $2,000 because of the body, uh, body damage. That car was amazing. Again, ran for three years. I did have three significant repairs over those three years at about $1,000 each. And like clockwork, that was needed. And not like clockwork, again, you can't really predict it. But I had no payments and that was amazing. And I cannot emphasize how much I want to have no payments. So with that Toyota Camry, it was a 2004. Again, I bought it at 170,000 miles, I think. And I sold it at 240, 230. I think 230 might have been 220 somewhere around there I got my got good value out of that car and we were able to trade it in for the RAV so we made back a thousand dollars on that car again when we were looking last year for the rental car uh, the used car market was awful it was impossible to get a car used um, this time last year so because the used car market has improved you used to be able to pick up a car for a running car for fifteen hundred dollars, a thousand and fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand dollars for something really nice. And that that was not the case this time last year. So now that again, I keep saying that the the used car market is approved, I think we're apt to kind of try our luck there. So my husband has um, I say very good taste, but he's 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 got good taste. But in the end, I asked him what he would want to do, and he said, "Well, this." Again, looking at dealerships, we could buy a brand new RAV4 Prime in, in exactly the color, again, in exactly the color we want and the trim we want and aim to keep it for 20 years. But that's what we tried to do with the last one and look what happened. So there's always, um, I would say, freak accidents that could happen or freak events that could happen. I, oh, so there's there's always that route. We may end up going that dealership route again. Who can say my preference would be oh, so I asked him what he would rather do and he said we could just go to a dealership but the smart thing to do would be to buy used and I 100% agree I said now is the time to be smart and I want to be smart in order now is the time to be smart in order to get on a, a better get on better footing um, and set ourselves up for a really great future be better in the future so that's that's where we at that's where we are at that's the story of the car i'll keep you posted let me know if you want to hear more updates on the car process